I had one of my projector clients send me a resource the other day that they had found they were trying to really better understand the nuance of the invitation, waiting for the invitation. What does it mean? Uh, how can you stretch the boundaries of it, etc.? And they had found this resource and said, look, I've watched this video. You know, I know that this person really know, like has been working with human design for a long time. They're an expert, but I'm a bit skeptical. Carolyn, what do you think? I'd never seen this video before, so I watched it and I understood why my client was skeptical. Despite the fact that this is a very well-known human design teacher who has been teaching human design for a very, very long time, the main premise of the video was that as a projector, you can fish for invitations. And here's why I'm going to say that is not a good use of your time. Why would we fish for invitations as a projector? We would fish for invitations if we didn't think that invitations were going to be forthcoming organically. If we believe within our body and mind that people aren't not just naturally going to invite us for us being ourselves, of course we're going to fish for invitations. Of course we're going to look for ways that we can stretch and manipulate and try and work around our strategy and get people to invite us. That's what fishing is. Fishing for an invitation and I'm assuming at this point that you have a fairly good idea of, as a projector, your strategy is to wait for an invitation, an invitation that comes with recognition. And it's like the opposite of like striving or trying to make things happen, right? So here we have this really interesting interplay of like, well, how do I, as a projector who has to wait for the invitation, how do I like try and get people to invite me? Do you feel the energy of that? <sighs> That behavior is driven from somebody who doesn't believe that the invitations will come organically. And that's why it is so, so powerful to marry together and why I marry together in my work, human design with a really solid trauma-informed deconditioning tool. I use EFT tapping. You can use any tool you like. But if you are somebody like the person who shot that video who believes that they have to go fishing for invitations, then I want to strongly and encourage you to focus your attention on deconditioning, on looking at the part of you but that believes, maybe some part of you believes that you're not good enough and you have to get people to invite you. Maybe some part of you thinks it's not possible, that this strategy thing won't work. Go and meet the parts of you that still aren't, totally on board or feeling totally safe or don't totally believe that it's possible for you to just receive invites organically. Let me tell you about the difference of how it feels. And, and I say this, if, if we're new and we haven't met before, hi, I'm Carolyn Southwell. I, I am a projector. I have been playing with human design for more than eight and a half years at the time of this recording. And I have a lot of third lines in my design. So I've tried lots of things, backwards, forwards, sideways, and lots and lots of ways that don't work. I can tell you fishing doesn't work because I've tried it. <laughs> I've tried it. I've tried all the various different ways of trying to get around my uh, strategy as a projector. And I can tell you that the only time things work really beautifully, smoothly, gorgeously, fantastically is when I just focus on doing what feels really good and true and fun and delicious for me and I notice who recognises me, who, and, and to translate, if you're still not quite sure what the term recognition mean, means, recognition means this person in whatever makes sense for the context of the relationship wants to hang out with you, wants to hear from you. They like you. That could be romantic with a partner. That could be a client who wants to hear from you. That could be a friend who asks your advice and they freaking listen when, when you answer, right? Invitations that are born organically out of a deep sense of recognition, a deep sense of the person wanting to spend time with you, wanting your wisdom, your advice, your guidance, that's where the gold is with human design. Can you fish for invitations? 
of course you can try. <laughs> it's your experiment. And if you have lots of third lines like me or you are a third line profile, then you might have to do it backwards. You might have to try all the ways that don't work before you discover what does work. But if you're somebody who is just looking to have a better explanation from somebody who has lived it and tried all the things, somebody who knows this stuff really well and somebody who has prioritised looking at the parts of her that don't believe that things are possible, all the deconditioning, then I can tell you, you don't need to fish for invitations. And it's not a thing. That's trying. That's striving. That's hustling. That's And it's born out of believing that it's not possible, that you're not good enough, that this whole human design thing doesn't quite work, right? Even though obviously some part of you believes that it does. Some part of you is here still listening to this video. Some part of you is really trying to understand how to follow strategy. So go and meet the parts of you that are telling all the stories that make you think you have to go and fish for invitations. Because, babe, there are a whole posse of people, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, potentially, depending on your individual configuration. There is a whole posse of people who are waiting for you. They're waiting for you to be empowered. They're waiting for you to truly own and value your own awesomeness <laughs> and they want you they will recognize you they will invite you they will wait to hear from you they exist so go and meet the parts of you that don't believe it's possible and don't <laughs> waste any time fishing unless you're somebody who knows that you have to try it all out yourself as part of your own experiment Bye for now.